Good afternoon. The day after a scary hostage situation at a well-known New Mexico attraction, we're finding out more about how it unfolded and just how much danger those hostages were in. News 13's Allison Martinez spoke to the owner of McGinn's Pistachio Farm and has a story from Alamogordo. It was Father's Day Sunday, so it was going to be a busy day. With 15 to 20,000 cars passing McGinn's Pistachio Tree Farm daily, the owner was expecting crowds on Father's Day. Instead, his customers and workers found themselves in the middle of a hostage situation. This is kind of my home, so I take it very personally, certainly, as anyone would, I would think. McGinn's Pistachio Tree Farm is currently closed for damages, but workers who were inside yesterday as well as hostages can breathe a bit easier today as Caleb Scroggins, the suspect, has been charged. In a criminal complaint, Alamogordo police say Scroggins shot and wounded a man at a mobile home park 11 miles away from the pistachio farm, then led deputies and police on a chase until he crashed outside McGinn's. That led to a shootout. Police say workers at the farm saw Scroggins running toward them, so they locked up the store. But Scroggins opened fire on the building, shooting out the doors before holding about 19 people inside hostage. Scroggins released them after three and a half hours before surrendering himself. A very stressful situation, and uh, and they were happy to be out of the situation as quickly as possible. Of course. McGinn's wasn't inside during the mayhem. He was on site and waiting on pins and needles. We're just thankful to the law enforcement for their obvious quick and effective and uh, intelligent response. Mm -hmm. And we're just um, very f thankful uh, to the good Lord that nobody got hurt. In Alamogordo, Allison Martinez, KRQE News 13. Now, Scroggins is charged for the shooting at the mobile home and then for the chase, the shootout with officers and for opening fire on the pistachio farm. Now, he's not charged for holding people hostage. We have reached out to state police late today to try to find that out. We have not yet heard back.